Welcome back to RT America. The Trump administration has put an end to a temporary residency program which allowed some 59,000 Haitians to live and work in the United States. The move has put Canada on alert after that country experienced an influx of Haitian refugees from the U.S. earlier this year. RT America's Alex Mihailovich is in Toronto with the story. All right, Alex, tell us what the U.S. government is saying about ending this program. Well, you know, this is the temporary protected status that Haitians had after that major earthquake 7.0 magnitude back in 2010, uh, January of that year. Uh, so uh, you have to look at the scenario. These people really were in dire need to get out. Uh, it, the conditions of that country were absolutely horrible. The death toll was someplace between 200 and 300,000 people. The earthquake hit actually very close to Port-au-Prince, which is the capital of Haiti. And after that, the U.S. did a very helpful thing and allowed 60 or close to 60,000 of those people to come to the U.S. Uh, to basically get out of a situation where there were tent villages, the disease was uh, rampant, as well as the fact that uh, there were food shortages, water shortages, etc. So now we come to a situation that it's many years later and the Trump administration saying, well, you know what, our goodwill is coming to an end. This was supposed to actually happen at the beginning of 2018, but the Department of Homeland Security now said that it's extending it by 18 months so that these people actually have times uh, time to pack up their bags and to go home so you're gonna see uh, that they're actually being pushed out by July 2019 now not everybody is for this in the US government uh, and as well as aid organizations uh, aid organizations such as uh, world neighbors they're saying that they've been having a lot of activity in Haiti and uh, that country still has these tent cities set up the situation there right now is actually in the past few days has been uh, very bad there's been government government protests, a lot of violence in the streets. The government hasn't been able to get its uh, stuff together for many, many years. So uh, you're hearing from aid organizations like that about the situation, but you're also hearing from people in the U.S. government. Take a listen to this. An earthquake and at least three major hurricanes means that there are still tent cities everywhere in Haiti. You have a, a dysfunctional government that has never been able to get uh, organized. So now returning 60,000 people to that scenario in Haiti could put a massive burden on a system that already is not doing that well. And what that could actually lead to is governments like the U.S. government having to send more aid money to Haiti. So it's a situation right now. I mean, yes, we have a year and a half to, to look at the scenario and maybe to, for it to improve. But as it stands right now, the situation on the ground in Haiti is actually getting worse, not better. And as seen in the past year, Alex, many of those slated to go back to Haiti actually turned their sights to the north, to Canada as a destination. How are you all responding north of the border to this announcement? Well, like the states, we also had a program to allow Haitians in after 2010, but Canada cut that program much earlier this year and has started deporting people. But Haitians, the information that they're getting in the states is that for some reason, Canada's an easy place to get into and an easy place to uh, get the refugee status. Uh, that's just simply not so. And the government here is reacting in a major way to, to offset that, to get the information to New York, and they're sending down delegates uh, into the states to basically tell the uh, Haitian community community that's not the way it works in Canada and that people will be deported now we had a major influx as you mentioned during the summer so just in the months of uh, July and August so 3100 people came across the border in July another 3800 just in the first two weeks of August so uh, that's a burden on the Canadian system of course Canada has to do something about this the public safety minister Ralph Goodale has said you know our RCMP which are the Royal Canadian Mounted Police are now preparing for any type of uh, situation that might pop up now that this announcement has come out from the American government as well as the fact that he wants to get the message across that the Haitians that have come here well you know what the most or the vast majority of them are actually being deported now some of the numbers that we have is that only 10 Ten percent of the people that arrived over the summer were actually allowed to stay in Canada. That's down from 50 percent the year prior, and that's going to be a continuation moving forward. So Canada's not really the best place for them to come right now, and Haiti, obviously, the scenario is getting worse. So a lot of people in the states are saying, well, maybe it should be extended for longer than a year and a half, or maybe allow these people to stay in the states. 27,000 children have been born since they've been here to these people, so they born in the U.S. So there is a situation that is a a little bit different than just the 59,000 people. There's a lot more other people involved in this now, too, and they happen to be children.
Absolutely dev devastating situation for some thousands of people. RT America correspondent Alex Mihailovich reporting from Toronto.